All I've got here is I got a piece of a pine wood that's actually wet. It's raining right now. I've got some fat wood. I've got a knife. I got a fire steel. I've got some additional wet wood. I've got a solo stove and I got a zebra pot. What I've mostly got here is damp wood and uh, that I just picked up off the ground and I'm going to cut this fat wood down into shavings and generally when the wood is wet I use more fat wood than I normally would. I probably got fat wood everywhere except for where it needed to be. I'm going to get some really fine shavings besides just these curls. I got to be almost careful not to touch anything too because Literally, my hands are sweaty. It's just miserable out. Been in like the high 90s most of this week. There we go, finally. So now that that's burning, we'll get this in the stove. Hopefully it actually makes it in the stove. Get some of our wood in here. And while this is taking off, I'm gonna start breaking up some of this wet wood. which is also looks like pretty rotted. Doesn't seem like the inner parts of it are too wet. This one is. You can't hear it snap as, as well. But the idea is that we're actually using the heat from the fat wood to dry the rest of the wood and it wasn't a lot of fat wood but it would burn long enough I, I started on this same video last night and literally got while I'm doing the video I had a sideways rain coming in <laughs> while I was had the fire was starting to build up in the stove and the sideways rain was coming in I had to shut everything down, get the camera and equipment inside. So now you can see I got a pretty good flame going. And all I'm doing is laying this thicker stuff now in there for the heat to dry it off. Here it's starting to pop. I keep forgetting I have this microphone on. I was getting ready to bring the camera over so you could hear it, but you should, might be able to hear it. That's the water evaporating out of the wood. Yeah, that wood's actually a lot wetter than I thought it was. But we're gonna make it work. This is just like if we were out here camping right now. If you had to have a fire, it don't matter if your wood's wet or not, you gotta figure out a way to make it work. I actually got to watch blowing on this because my beard. So as you can see that because the wood is wet, 
the fire is hard to keep going because the the water has to evaporate out of the wood and out of the bark before it'll even think about burning so probably for the first couple minutes that it's in there wood that would normally burn is actually having trouble burning and by adding more oxygen I'm, I'm feeding the fire basically and encouraging it to to burn better and you can tell that once once most of the water evaporates then it stays pretty much going on its own now if I add more wood to it it'll start dying back down again because the woods wet so the flames now are pretty much on this half because that's where the fire was already going at and then this half where I've added the new wood there's no 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 flame at all there is some white smoke coming off of it and you can kind of hear it hissing because the woods wet but as soon as I shove some more wood in here I can take and add some oxygen to it and it'll come right back usually all I'm doing now is just trying to get the wood to squashed down in there far enough for me to get my water on and I can still feed it through this window on this side or take the pot off and add more wood let's see it is 903 right now probably could take the camera over there closer so you guys can see better Plus it's starting to get nighttime. The sun is going down quickly. You can kind of see here, I will go ahead and show you that it is definitely raining. That's the water you see on my patio here. And then you can kind of see that the paint there on the left is wet and on the right is dry. Now that it's not actually raining, we can have it out in the area that's not covered oh I actually hear that that is usually a sign that you're boiling it's 906 I don't think that it is but that almost sounds like boiling water now the canister is actually hot I'm pretty certain we're not boiling though Uh, I do see some steam, but uh, not boiling. I've got two of these. So I've got, uh, I, I buy nearly everything in twos or threes. And the reason being is because I generally keep a kit in my car, truck, my ATV, not counting a kit that I generally have at my house. But um, I've got two of these. And at one time I was going to buy, you know, enough for each of my kits. But... In all honesty, I mostly use a solo stove with just the normal 900 uh, liter, milliliter cup. This one, which is a lot smaller as you can tell. It's uh, 30 ounces. So I'm going to have to really watch this now because it looks like I'm down to just mostly coals. And this will go out really easy now because the coals might not be hot enough to burn the water off. But anyways, the other one I've used a billion times. And I wanted to use this one. This zebra pot had never been used till last night. Like I said, I tried to do this video last night. And the only reason why I'm even using it is because I was starting to feel guilty that I've owned this one for two years and I've never used it. And see, it justifies my purchase if I boil some water in it a couple of times. So uh, that's basically what it boils down to. Um, that definitely sounds like a rolling boil at 9.13. And I see steam coming out of it too.